in the first part of this study, we showed, first of all, that xenobots can self-replicate. It turns out that on their own, they're not very good at it. A, a, a swarm of nine parent xenobots will produce one or two small, weak children that cannot push cells and cannot make grandchildren. So the process runs out of gas after one generation. We brought in the AI and we asked it to design a new set of nine uh, a new set of nine xenobots that would be more replicative, that would be able to produce children, which would produce their own children, and so on. And it turns out that in this case, the AI came up with a design that is much more replicative. And that design looks like a Pac-Man. It's a pretty simple uh, circular object. It's got a little wedge cut out of it. And when these nine Pac-Men move around in the dish, they unintentionally get cells caught in their quote unquote mouths. They push those uh, cells into larger piles and larger piles become larger and stronger and faster moving children, which make larger grandchildren and great grandchildren. And we got as far as great, great grandchildren with these AI designed, uh, these AI designed parent xenobots. There are some suggestions about what they could be useful for because they're very small. They're less than a millimeter across. So if you see these moving around in a Petri dish, they look like moving uh, poppy seeds. They're just visible to the human eye. So they're very small. They can get into places that more traditional robots couldn't get into. They're biodegradable. Um, they're genetically unmodified. And they're also biocompatible. Um, so it may be in the long term, we're able to create biobots from human cells and they might have actually have medical applications. You might be able to ingest one of these bots and have it do useful work inside the body. In the much more near term, uh, it's probably going to be uh, underwater applications. These are, after all, frog cells. They're perfectly happy in fresh water. You can imagine them inspecting uh, root systems in vertical farms or hydroponic plants. Um, reducing the cost of producing fresh water in desalination facilities, helping with wastewater treatment, sewage, uh, anything underwater, they may be useful in the not too distant future.